Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Studio 22. I'm your host, Julianne Thomason, and today we have a very special guest. Uh, Marianne Hostler is here to join us. So, Marianne, um, you work in the Alumni Relations Department, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm so, can you tell us a little bit about kind of what you do and your involvement in OCU? Mm -hmm. So, I am the Alumni Relations Coordinator. Okay. And um, we do different events throughout the year to, like, involve alumni. Um, just, you know, a variety of things. We do like a Cookies with Santa event Ooh, to get people yeah, to bring their kids, hang one. out with Santa, <laughs> um, and just kind of some other fun things, just um, all kinds of stuff, just to keep alumni involved with the university and up to date with what's going on. We send out newsletters and all kinds of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so you're an alumni yourself and mm -hmm. went to OCU. So can you tell us about kind of your major and your time at OCU mm -hmm. and what you're involved in? Um, I uh, graduated in 2012. Okay. My degree's in mass comm. Not um, too well, long ago nope. then. No, <laughs> <laughs> pretty recent with a uh, track and uh, public relations. And while I was here, the big thing I did was I really, I worked in student publications. I was the photo editor for several years there. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and can you tell us a little bit about that experience and what your, what, what that job was? <laughs> yeah. So I, while I was the photo editor, I managed the photographers, um, scheduled events, scheduled photographers for events, I made sure equipment was ready to go, everything was ready um, for the paper each week, things like that. Yeah, so you were busy when you were here. I guess you lived in the mass comm department area, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. I took my fair share of, share of naps on the couch. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, um, do you have any advice for any mass comm students here um, since you lived it yourself? <laughs> well, I would definitely say uh, to get involved and um, I, I had a great time at student publications and I got a lot of good um, experience out of it. And there's just, everybody's willing to help. So definitely uh, have every, uh, with all the professors and everybody. Yes. Um, we'll definitely give you advice and help and yes. take advantage of it. When yes. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, um, just in, um, you know, like maybe three words, uh, what was your favorite experience about being in mass comm? Or like any, any like couple, three words. Um, mass comm luncheons. Yes. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Well, we are going to be right back. We're going to take a short um, break, and I'll see you in a bit. Thank you so much. The charge in retreat. The shot goes up. Devasade comes out of nowhere, and another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. Even cleaning up the glass, giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Yamas Sané, MVP on the court and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Welcome back to Studio 22. Again, I'm your host, Julianne Thomason, and we are here talking with Marianne Hostler. So OCU, you know, very special place. Not only do you get your degree, but it <laughs> seems like you've met your husband here, and um, he actually proposed on a trip with OCU, so I want to hear all about it. <laughs> um, well, we went on, or I did, um, the, in 2011, went to London for the MassCom uh, study abroad for like a month thing. Um, there and so a couple weeks and he actually um, flew in and surprised us at dinner one night and proposed and then hung out for like a week and we got to do all kinds of fun stuff it was a it was a really amazing um, oh my gosh experience. every girl's dream <laughs> <laughs> it, it was doesn't pretty great sound too bad I think you did pretty good yeah. and now you have a son uh, Ben mm -hmm. um, so how old is he he is um, almost five months old um, he was born in May the day before graduation um, and so he is super great. I like yes. him a lot. <laughs> we'll, keep, well, I guess we'll keep him. Um, I would think so. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a, he's a happy guy. So being a parent's uh, hard, but it's 
It's been, it's yeah. been really great. So do you think he's going to go to OCU? I mean, I hope so. Do you think so. he can convince him? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, but. Yes. I think he's born to be a star between the two Yeah, <laughs> surely. That's the way that works, right? <laughs> yes, he can be a mass com. Just do the whole thing. Just, just live just, life all it'll over. Be, it'll be great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, so is he a troublemaker? Or what, what? Tell me a little bit more about him. <laughs> he, he's a pretty, like, easygoing, he's a really happy guy, actually. Um, mm -hmm. He just kind of takes it all in stride. He's happy to go yes. do whatever, go see people. Yes, he's a big fan today as he's supporting you out in the audience yeah, today. Yeah, no, and he's here and yeah, having a Next time we'll have time. him come up here. We'll talk yeah. to him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he'll have a lot to share, I'm sure. Yes, oh, I'm sure. He'll he'll have lots of words about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Won't but, be too long. Yeah, so when's the next one coming? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I think I think we'll wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's not a bad idea. It's a lot to handle. So um, are, are you a stay-at-home mom? Or how does that work? Um, well, I work, I mean, I work here and during the day, but Corbin mm -hmm. actually um, has a, several different, like, freelancing kind of things that he does. And so he gets to stay home with him during the day. So it's a... Um it's a it's a good kind of trade off. It yeah, works it does out. Yeah, sound it's like a well, so. good thing. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to tell any of our viewers about OCU or a little plug in for anyone out there listening? Um, well, just enjoy your time at OCU. It's uh, very different once you get out. So. Yes, I know. They always say it gets better after high school, and then once you get here, it truly is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you viewers for watching. And we'll see you next time at Studio Twenty Two. <laughs>